Hello everyone. Today we will talk about how to um, uh, enable uh, MIST2 here. So how to enable the HTTPS uh, access for the OpenWRT uh, based uh, wireless router. Uh, we're going to perform three simple steps uh, to enable the HTTPS uh, on the router. So this is assuming you already upgraded to your um, uh, whatever the model you have there from the factory default firmware uh, to the OpenWRT version uh, of the firmware. So in my case, uh, I'm running uh, TP-Link uh, Archer C7 version 2 uh, AC1750 home wireless router. So it's already uh, flashed to the uh, uh, this version of the OpenWRT release. So I'm going to show you the uh, the GUI um, where you can log in to manage your home wireless router. And in my case, I have changed the DHCP uh, scope or the range from uh, 192.168.1.1. To use the 192.168.0.1/24 instead. So obviously, without uh, encryption, while well, you're typing, you know, the credential, the password for logging into your wireless router, and yeah, you may ex have your password exposed to to a hacker or to someone, you know, who is sniffing your network. So now. Let's log into the router here. Uh, basically, um, unfortunately, there is no there is no um, there is no default. Uh, uh, sorry, um, basically, it's not enabled by default. Okay, uh, I'll log in and to show you within the GUI, you don't have the option to. Uh, to change to HTTPS login instead of HTTP. So I now I logged into the router and if I go to the overview, so I can see, you know, the my router, so the um, uh, my router's uh, the model number and the certain specs and the current firmware version I'm running. And this is uh, the DHCP client information uh, for the IPv4 portion. So now, um, if I show you this GUI here, uh, unfortunately um, for the interface and there is no place where you can specify uh, you know to enable the router um, with HTTPS so what you need to do is use the body to SSH uh, into the uh, uh, the router via the command line so that's what we're going to do here okay so let me just uh, Log in quickly here. So this is the IP address of your uh, OpenWRT router. First time I'm logging in, accept. So type in the username and the password. Okay, press enter. Great. Now we're in. And if now, if I switch back to the guide or the simple steps um, I have written down earlier, the first step is to run this command here. So I'm going to copy and grab this command. Or I can just type in here, OPKG, update, enter. Now it looks like it's downloading, uh, you know, uh, some uh, uh, the packages uh, from the internet and from the openwrt.org website. So now we have the packages downloaded and we're going to run the step two, 
So OPKG install LUCI SSL. So basically, this is um, to install the SSL uh, daemon um, um, for the OpenWIT router. Then after that, you will need a reboot. So press enter. I guess now it's doing the installation. It's also downloading the package uh, uh, through the internet. I believe they should make those package available um, uh, to be, uh, you know, uh, to be downloaded via HTTPS as well, right? To secure the the package. So, anyways, okay, this command seems to be successful. So the very last command is other. You can reboot uh, the router via the web GUI, or you can simply run this command to manually restart the web server component or the, for that interface. So I'm going to use the command line instead here. So tc then it d then you httpd restart okay no typo enter now it's generating self-signed certificate here as you can see all right so generating self-signed certificate and this is the i believe this is the default uh, subject uh, they given a name z z z or z z here Oh, sorry, my bad. The common name here. This is will be the name for the home, uh, for the certificate. Okay, here is showing the what's the valid validity the time. So it looks like it's gonna be valid for two years. So 2022. Okay. So now, um, if we go back to the web interface here. Uh, so I'm going to grab the URL and I'm going to open a new tab and test the HTTPS login. So HTTPS 192.168.0.1. Okay, press enter. Okay, indeed. Uh, so it looks like uh, I'm able to log in via HTTPS now. And the certificate, this is because this, this is the self-signed cert and all these more than the browser today is gonna complain if it's a self-signed and in our case, uh, it is, you know, a self-signed. So in the future, um, you know, uh, the videos to be published, uh, probably um, I can talk about how to replace the self-signed cert with a CE signed certificate. Okay, let me click on OK and test the login here. So continue. Okay, that's good. Uh, still HTTPS. Um, okay, looks like I guess I remember the session. So what I will do, I'm going to sign out and just to, to test the login here. Okay, so I'm going to log out uh, the HTTP session first. Okay, so log this out. And let me refresh. Okay, so a new login is required. Okay, awesome. so I'm gonna log in again. So this time definitely is HTTPS here. Let me just make sure. Yes, okay, enter. So let me type in the password here. Right, click on login. Uh, I guess uh, mistyped, okay. Click login again, here we go. So now, um, looks like uh, we logged in um, uh, via HTTPS and now your login uh, session should be secured. So while you're after you typed your password and uh, it will be hard for the uh, someone to sniff or 
or steal your password. Okay, everyone, I think we're done here. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions or, you know, um, add your comments below. So, and to share your experience with the others. Thank you.